Because I want to deal with you, bro. Me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I want you to really understand, you too, sister, how beautiful y'all are. That's right. I want y'all to really understand that. There's no need to try to change the hair. None of that. Why? Because you look just like the Son of God. That's right. That's right. You look just like the Most High God. You gotta understand that. Go back. The Most High God that made the heavens, the earth, the sun, moon, the stars, everything that you see, said, I want you to look just like me. That's right. right. So why would you change that appearance? Why would you want to tie your hair when God said that his hair is wool? The way that you was born was perfect. That's right. That's right. Perfect. Bring it Go out. That. Go to Jeremiah 1 and 5. I want to show you something. I want to show you something, sis. Uh, go to Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Just hold that for me. Go to Jeremiah 1 and 5. Why people trying to get out of here? Oh. <laughs> they trying to get my hair. Like, how you get my hair like Hey, you? right here too, bro. This is for you too. There's no need to dye your hair. There's no need to alter the way you look. Why? Because we're about to read this. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. You know? Before I formed thee in the what? Before I formed thee. One more time. Before I formed thee, the Most High God, he formed us. Where? In the belly, I knew thee. In the what? I knew thee. You see that? The Most High God has formed each and every one of us in the womb. Right. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right. Y'all have to understand this. The Most High God made us in his image. That's right. right. So there's no need to try to change anything about that. The reason why we do that is because we do not know who we are. That's right. right. Ever since that we've been born, ever since we've been here, we've been on the bottom. That's right. That's right. And we see another race that are always on top. That's why you see our sisters with blonde hair in their head. Because they look at the white race as better than them. Right. Right. So they say, if I can't beat them, I might as well join them. Right. Take it out. It must be something wrong with my skin because I'm stuck in the ghettos. It must be something wrong with my hair because why? Every man leaves me. You see that? But we've been taught wrong. Right. But y'all gonna learn today. Go to Wisdom of Solomon again. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and 3. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 verse 3. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty have created them. Hold up. So who formed this in the belly? God. What he got? Okay. Go back to that again. Because what did he say about God? Because remember, it said that God was the one who formed us in the belly, in the womb. Y'all see that? Read that, uh, that last line again. What did he say? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. Mm -hmm. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Uh -huh. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Who is what? For the Lord, for the first author of beauty, have created them. So the first author of beauty. The first author of beauty was the one who formed you in the belly. That's right. Meaning that the way your hair is, is perfect. Right. The way your skin is, is perfect. Right. Y'all see this? This is the most high God that's speaking. Listen up, bro. There's no need to change anything that you have. Go to um, 2nd Nezus chapter 2 and 28. Let me show you something. Who's the heathen? Y'all know who the heathen is? In the Bible, there was two groups of people. You had Israelites and you had heathens. The Israelites are these 12 tribes today. Black Americans, the Hispanics, and the uh, Native Americans. Everybody else that you see are called heathens. Right. Y'all right. see this? Y'all got it? You got Israelites, and then you got everybody else. So the so-called white man, the so-called Asian man, the so-called Arab, the so-called African, because you're not African, they are heathens. Right. That's right. But let's see about these heathens. Read that. Second Ezra chapter 2 verse 28 huh? the heathen so shall who? the heathen so the heathen shall envy thee wait a minute it Bring said me. that the heathen shall envy thee Bring it out. which are the Israelites why are they going to envy you because you are perfect that's right. your beauty is perfect that's right. there's no need to change anything that you have that's right. 
Because you was made by the Most High God, who is the author of beauty. Right. Y'all going to learn, y'all going to get that self-esteem today. There's no need to change. Read that from the top again. Verse 28. The heathen shall envy thee. You see that? It said that the, the, the heathen shall, uh, shall envy you. You may not think so now, but God said that you are above all nations. Get that. You may not believe it now because of the state that you're in today. But God said, listen, when I made you, I chose you. You are my elect. And you are going to be above all people in all things, including your beauty. That's right. You're going to be above all people, including the way you look, the way you dress, the way you deal with one another. You're going to be above all nations of people. That's right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 uh -huh. For thou art in holy people that thou is talking about again the Israelites right. Israelites said or uh, the most high God said Israel are holy what does holy mean to be set apart right you are different from all these other nations right God said that you're holy we don't for thou art in holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God uh -huh. the Lord thy God have chosen thee you see this it said that the most high God chose this group right here. What? Read. To be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. To be special unto himself. Read. Above. Ooh. Above. One more time. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's That's right. Right. What you must understand is that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are above all people. Right. Right. They are supposed to be above all people people right, right. but there's an issue here we are on the bottom bring it out we are on the bottom of society why do you think that because we break god's laws that's right that's why we stuck on the bottom we we do look like him we don't suppose we do look like him but when you put the blonde in your head you don't respect the most high god you don't respect how he made you but it's listen it's the way that we was brought up. Y'all see this? The way that we was brought up, we thought that we wasn't nothing. Right. We look on the TV screens, the movies, right? The TV shows, and they give us an image on how to look. They say, you should look like this over here. But who controls that media? We don't. The so-called white man do this. The, they, they, they try to tell you what way to look, what to uh, wear, how to eat. Why? Because it's they want us to continue to stay on the bottom. Right. They understand the uh, 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 what I'm looking for, the formula to keep us on the bottom. Right. But what you must realize then, when we come back to God's laws, we're going to go right back to our rightful state, which is above all nations. That's but right. it starts right here with your mindset. First and foremost, you got to realize, yes, I am better than. Yes, the heathen shall envy me. That's what the scriptures say. We didn't say that. God said that. God said that the heathen, which are these other nations outside of these, uh, 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 the Israelites, they shall envy you. Go to um, Ezekiel chapter 16. Real quick. Ezekiel chapter 16, let's start at verse 10. All right, do your thing, but, but hey, make sure you read that flyer. Read that flyer. Listen, you are an Israelite. You are better than all these other nations. But what you must realize is this is your heritage right here. Not MTV, not VH1, not these clubs, not smoking weed, not being a hoe. That's not your heritage. Bring it out. This right here, this Bible, that's your heritage. That's what's, that's what's going to get you back on top, ruling over these nations. And thy renown went forth among the heathen for all thy beauty. Y'all know what renown means? Renown. Nah. What does renown mean? Y'all know? To be renowned. It means to be famous. It means to be famous. So read that again. And I renown. So we was famous. Read. Went forth among the heathen. The heathen of who? All these other nations. Read. For thy beauty. Wait a minute. Back in the day, we was famous for the way that we looked. Right. We was famous for the way that we dressed. Right. We dressed like royalty. We looked like royalty. That's so right. we are royalty. That's right. But for some reason, our sisters want to dress like hoes. 
For some reason, our men want to sag their pants like boys. Right. That's what the the uh, uh, um the officer was saying. We have a destroyed mindset. Y'all see this? We should not be dressing like that. When the last time you seen a queen or a princess wearing freakum dresses? Bring it out. Wearing tight leggings. When the last time you seen that? Never. You don't see that. Why? Because there's power in your image. Bring it out. There's power in that. And they know how they should dress. But God said that you are the kings, the princesses. That's your true position. Right. And you should dress as such. But that's what we bring it back today. Your true heritage. Right. Never mind what you learn within this world because it's wrong. Right. Never mind what you learn. You need to come back right here. Right. This is your dress code. Right. This is how you're supposed to uh, 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 act and behave amongst each other. Right. right? And guess what? This also shows us our divine order, sister. Because I heard that some people may think that men and women are equal. Right? Is that what the Bible states? What you think, sis? You don't know? Well, we're going to get that today. Because guess what? That is a part of our heritage as well. That's right. The true order in the household. That is what's going to reestablish this nation as to be above all people. Right. But simple, simple stuff like this. Let's get that. Come on up. First Corinthians 11, verse 3. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every Israelite man is Jesus the Christ. Right. Every man of Israel, their head is Jesus the Christ, meaning that he rules over us. What he's saying, that's what we're supposed to do. He's our head, he's our Lord, he's our leader. We don't. And the head of the woman is the man. Wait a minute. So if the head of the man is Christ, if the ruler of the man is Christ, read that part again. And the head of the woman is the man. The man is supposed to rule over the woman. That's right. That's right. That's right. The man is supposed to rule over the woman, but not just any man, but a godly man. That's right. A godly man that is going to guide you according to God's scriptures. He's supposed to rule over you. Right. Did you know that the woman was made for the man? Did you know that? So how can a woman being made for the man now is equal? That doesn't make any sense. The man was made for Christ, and the woman was made for the man. Right. That's how things is supposed to go. But because women want to be equal with the man, guess what? That man runs out. Now the woman is stuck with the children trying to raise a man, trying to raise a son and a daughter. And now we have little devils walking around here. Because right. the woman do not know how to raise a man. Right. right. Simple things like that will get our household and our nation back in order. Right. Right. But you just don't go for any old man. You go for a godly man that you know is going to keep you according to the scriptures. That's right. You don't want no gangster, no nigga, just no deadbeat. You want a man that you know he is going to treat me righteously. Teach. He's not going to verbally abuse me. Physically abuse me, st uh, 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 step out on me. He's not going to do that because God law say the man cannot do that. Because why? Jesus Christ said, "Listen, these are the rules. The godly man is going to follow right in line. That's right. right. And once you see that man following right in line with, with Christ, you follow right behind him. Right. You see that? Right. Now that's the nation in order."
walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's our black man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.